What is these who is your boy John Sayers and we are back with another video and today we're gonna be reacting to Young Don the Sauce God. I hate it working with this guy. Now I don't know if this is a job or anything, but um this is gonna be my first time reacting to Young Don the Sauce God. So um let's see if we <clears throat> see if we like what he do. It seems to me like he's an animator, so that's cool. But uh yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Three, two, one, go. And that's when I decided that I hate this dude. You know, if you want to finesse the system, suck up to the bosses, jerk off all day in other departments, and gossip like a teenage girl, fine. But give me my god credit. Use headphones. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope y'all had a good time. So, I worked a few jobs before I became a YouTuber. And to be honest, a part of me kind of misses it. Because once you're out of school, the workplace is the last place where you don't have to try to make friends. You know, like at school and at work, making friends just kind of happens. When you're forced to be around the same people on a regular basis, it's only a matter of time before you start finding things in common. I mean, how many best friends and relationships have been the result of just being randomly placed in the same room as somebody else because of a class or a job? But not everyone you meet at work is cool, right? For every chill, funny, likable person you meet at work, there's gonna be someone else that just knows how to get under your skin. Well, today, I'm gonna be telling you a story about a coworker who I see. I never, I never worked a job yet. Um, <clears throat> I'm still in the works of it. Uh, I just don't really know how to get one. <laughs> so, yeah. Really grew to dislike. So, a lot of you know that technically my first real job was working for McDonald's back in Broward, Florida, my junior year of high school. But it didn't take me more than. I will say though. That when I do eventually get a job, I'm not working. I'm not trying to work at no fast food, bro. I'm be honest, bro. I'm trying to work at a store or something, bro. Some outlet, some uh, grocery store, some uh, some shopping center, some shopping mall, or something. That's what I'm trying to work, bro. I ain't trying to work no fast food, bro. Because I be seeing all types of videos. We, we can react to them. I be seeing all types of videos of people just tripping on people, bro. And I'm not, I'm not even trying to deal with that. A couple months to get fired so i don't really count as my first real job to me my first real job was when i worked for dick sporting goods shortly after moving to california right after i graduated high school i realized that i needed a job and i just started dating a girl whose big sister was an assistant manager at the dick sporting goods so my girl pulls some strings and within a couple of weeks of applying i get the job so i show up for my first day of work i meet a store manager cool dude he gives me the rundown, and then he shows me around the team sports department, which was the department that I was going to be working in. And that's when I met Mark, the supervisor of the team sports department. And Mark was a kind of person I had never met before. He was like a TV character, you know? Like, his personality was like a guy straight out of a sitcom. Also, didn't help. He looked just like Jonah Hill, bro, I swear. <laughs> anyway, I liked Mark when I met him, personally. I thought he was an interesting character. You know, he was always decked out in the freshest Nike gear. He was very charismatic, and he knew everything about baseball, which I knew nothing about. And since baseball was our top set. Are y'all, um... <clears throat> what, like, sporting pro do wear? Like, what, 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 brand? I would say myself, I'm a Nike guy, because... Nike is lit, and they got everything, so, and it just looked the best, bro, so, yeah, I'm a Nike, so if I ever get it, you know, somehow get able to get big enough to get a, um, a, a brand deal or something, I would, I would, I would go to Nike, bro, no fuck, bro, Nike, I'm open, the business email is down in the description, you can hit me up, anytime. In product, I found myself constantly asking him questions, and he was always very nice and patient with me, so I was rocking with him. One day, I walked to the back of the store, you know, the behind the scenes part. I went to the back to print some signs for some products when I saw Mark chilling in one of the little office rooms with his other employee. I overheard their conversation, 
and I realized that Mark was sneak dissing one of the other employees. He wasn't saying anything nice, you feel me? Which happens at work. But what I didn't like is that I've seen Mark being really chummy chummy with the person he was talking about. AKA to me, it seemed like he was being fake to that person, which right away I didn't like because I don't like fake people, even if it's not directly to me. Because if I see you being fake to someone else, how am I gonna know if you're being real with me? You could be the most rude, offensive, insensitive person. I'd rather hang out with that guy because at least I know he's honest. But if I think you might be fake, I'ma keep my distance. So I started to do that. But I still liked Mark as a coworker. I just knew right then and there that we were never gonna hang out outside of work. But that's fine, as long as he continue to do his job and continue to be a reliable supervisor. Well, then you know, who and what he chooses to talk about with other people, well, that's not my business. So, I wanted to be a great employee. That's just who I am, right? I'm competitive and anything I do, I try to do really well. So anything that was asked of me, I tried to do at a high level and with a great attitude. And I don't think it took long for Mark to recognize that. Because in a matter of days of working there, Mark had me running around the store doing everything, right? Cleaning the bathroom, moving heavy equipment, organizing the back room, fixing apparel, any and everything. And at the time, I didn't think anything was wrong with it. You know, I was a new guy. I had to earn my stripes and I was getting paid by the hour. So I did what Mark told me to do. If you vape, you could be in hell and talk some metals into your lungs. To show how scary that is, we made metal monsters. But nothing is as scary as the facts. Vaping can deliver toxic metals like nickel and lead into your lungs. Dude, but the longer I worked there, the more I started to notice that Mark wasn't around his department very much. He spent a lot of time in the back office, chopping it up with the store manager. That, or he was in the golf department playing on the golf simulator. <laughs> and after a while, I realized that this dude was just offloading all his work onto his subordinates. Eventually, other employees started to let me know that this is just what he does. So one night, I'm closing the store after a very busy day, and my department was in shambles, right? And when you're closing, <laughs> you're supposed to leave it looking right? close to nobody, perfect right? for when the store opens in the morning. But that day, Mark had the midday shift. But because he was busy jerking off in the other departments, he ain't helped me clean. And because he wasn't there, I had to do all the customer service so no one was cleaning the department. So when he clocks out some hours before me, I'm the one stuck cleaning the entire department that has been a mess for the whole day. But I accepted the challenge. I was literally running around the department, cleaning as fast as I could. I did all the go backs. I tidied up the storage room. I went off, okay? And by the time I clocked out, my department looked amazing. Fast forward to the next day, and both Mark and I are opening, and the store manager was giving us the rundown from the previous day. And apparently, my department made a ton of money, right? Way over projection. So of course, he's complimenting Mark and doing a great job and still managing to keep the department clean so that I had a easy close. So now I'm standing there thinking, this dude ain't do jack. You better give me some credit. I made those sales. I cleaned the department. <laughs> I better get some recognition. But Mark just took all the praise. Right. Didn't show me any type of love for carrying the team like LeBron in the fourth. <laughs> and that's when I decided that I hate this dude. You know, if you want to finesse the system, suck up to the bosses, jerk off all day in other departments, and gossip like a teenage girl, fine. But give me my god credit. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take a page out of Mark's book and I'ma start big chilling. Cause I get paid the same regardless. And if I can't get my pat on the back, at least I'ma take a sat in the back and play on my phone. But here's the funny thing about that. When I stopped working as hard, my life got harder. Because you may not get credit when you make everything go right, but when things go wrong, best believe everybody's pointing their finger at you. And I try not to be the blame other people, point fingers kind of guy. 
so I wasn't about to start complaining to the store manager about Mark, especially since I knew that Mark had spent the last year greasing this dude up. So after I realized that not working hard on the clock wasn't getting me the sense of justice that I wanted, I went back to working hard, but this time for me, you know, I didn't care if I wasn't going to get the credit. I still wanted it, but if I didn't get it, whatever. Mark continued being Mark and that's how things went for a while and I thought that's how things were going to stay. But one day, I hear that Mark is putting in his two weeks. Apparently, he thought he was going to get some promotion, but turns out that upper management saw that Mark was a poser and gave the position to someone else. Oh, I guess he didn't like that. So eventually, he leaves, leaving his job up for grabs. And guess who gets promoted to being the new department supervisor? This other guy who was there longer than me, but yeah, he was a good worker, so fine. But then he left like a few months later, and then I became the department supervisor. And right before I quit, I was getting interviewed for that same promotion Mark wanted. So moral of the story, if you ever have the displeasure of working with someone who doesn't pull their own weight, or you feel like you're not getting credit for your work, just because they aren't telling you doesn't mean they don't see it. And as long as you work hard for working hard's sake, underperformers will get exposed and one way or another, you will eventually rise to the top. Season's greetings. I'm celebrating with my homemade eggnog because Simply Safe Home Security is having a Very huge sale. Ice lime. Why do I waste my time? Girl, I know I'm not your type. But you see something you like. So, so, so he be telling you lit lit stories, huh? I'm about to check him out more. Uh, yeah, that was Young Gun Sauce Got. Uh, original video will be down in the description. His channel will be down in the description down below. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, you know, hopefully you guys can uh, subscribe or check out any other videos that you like on my channel. Uh, like, um, you know, and uh, leave down below in the comment section below what else you would like me to react to, cause. Cause I just, you know, I just like doing it. But yeah, um, uh, till next time, uh, that'll be it. Your boy Dante, I'm out. Peace.